and thank you for tuning in to our E3 presentation. Here at M Squad, four people have put together this amazing game, and they're standing here up on the stage. Would everyone like to introduce themselves? Hello, I'm Sarah Rush. I'm Annie Wolotsko. I'm Nathan Banks. And I'm Max Thomas. We have spent countless hours transforming this classic board game that everybody loves, modernizing it, and making it available on PC. Isn't that amazing? The inspiration for our game started with a user interview. We really wanted to create a game that you guys would go for. Based on the interview, we set graphics to be a priority. We also wanted to create a game that required skill, but could be played while taking a break from work, and that wouldn't last too long either. Taking all these considerations into account, I think that we created the perfect game. Without further ado, I would like to introduce you guys to Battleship. This game is a one-player game against a computer opponent player. Hey! Hey, The game starts off by telling you the ship that you are going to place and the amount of spots that the ship will take up. It then asks you for the orientation of the ship. You will enter a 1 if you want the ship to be vertical, a 2 if you want it to be horizontal. It will then ask you for the row and column number of the frontmost point of the ship. It will then continue this process until all five ships have been placed, starting with the aircraft carrier and ending with the PT boat. The game will not allow you to overlap ships. We did this because, as a child, I was playing Battleship with my brother, and they stacked all their ships on top of each other. Clever? I didn't think so. So we made sure that you could not do the same with our game. As you can see, when I try to place a ship where one is already placed, it will tell me that I cannot place the ship there and prompt me to enter a new row or column. We also made sure that you couldn't outsmart the game by trying to place the ships outside the allowed boundaries. Similar to overlapping ships, it would say that there is an invalid placement of the ship and tell you to pick a different row or column. Once all the ships are placed, two 10 by 10 squares will appear on the screen and the ships you place will appear in the bottom square, while the top square will show water and that's where the opponent ships are placed. You will be prompted to enter in the coordinates of the location that you would like to hit. If you miss at this location, then a white dot appears, while if you hit, a red dot will appear. The hit markers in this game really gives you the feel of the old school game where you put the pegs in the board. It also adds to the graphics which was our priority. The AI is smart. Really smart. It first randomly chooses a location to fire at. If it gets a hit, it will test the four locations around it until it gets a second hit. It will then continue in that direction until it misses. It will then go back to the original location and hit from the other side until the ship is sunk. It really gives the feel that you are playing someone else on the other side of the computer screen. The game ends when you, or the opponent player, has sunk in all of the ships. we were done with just Battleship, then you would be wrong. Battleship comes in a bundle pack with not just one game, but two other games. This is something never done before and we are very excited to be the first one to do this. Included with Battleship are two simple dice games, Over Under 7 and Pig. In Over Under 7, you are betting against the odds of the sum of two die being less than 7, exactly 7, or over 7. The game starts out by asking you how much money you want to play with. It then asks you if you want to bet on under 7, exactly 7, or over 7, and how much you want to bet on it. If you guess over or under 7 and you win, the payout is 1 to 1. If you bet exactly 7 and it is right, the payout is 4 to 1. The best part about it, you can play all day and never have to spend a cent. Pick is more of a game geared towards those who prefer luck. The game asks you to roll a dice. 
If you get anything but a 1, you get, you get to keep this point values. You are then asked to roll the dice again. You can roll however many times you would like to, but if you roll a 1, then you lose all those points for this turn. You must get to 100 points before the computer, computer opponent player. Overall, our Battleship Bundle Pack is the best in the market. These games will have you playing for hours, all while teaching you strategy. The combination of Battleship Over Under 7 and Pig is well, is well worth your money, and will keep you coming back for more. Thank you for listening to our presentation, and we hope you will enjoy these games as much as we have.